Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, brothers, sisters, friends, enemies, and frenemies. I have an exciting announcement for you, but you are going to want to hold on to your seat. Troy Black, the false prophet who refuses to call out false apostle Catherine Crick, has actually come out and called out Celestial. Will Troy Black be Celestial's next victim in her Christian cookout? barbecues that she's been featuring lately we're going to look at a clip from troy black under the terms of fair use disclaimer under section 107 of the copyright act 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism comment news reporting scholarship and research fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use all right we're going to jump right into this this is troy black calling out celestial this is this is amazing. This is amazing. I never thought I'd live in an era where we find false prophets calling out other false prophets. That's been happening a lot. But let me tell you what it means. Troy Black don't call out any false prophets. He doesn't call out any false teachers or deliverance frauds or anything. So when Troy Black calls you out, guess what? Flag on the plate. That's a seriously false prophet. When a false prophet who won't call anybody out calls you out, it's a bona fide guarantee you a false prophet. Let's listen to Troy Black tell his story. This is right after his prayer concludes. I don't listen to prayers of false prophets because I don't know who, what they're praying to or who they're praying to. Amen. So this word is going to be different. This video is going to be different than normal because I am not a ministry that exposes other ministries. Oh, really? But this is a ministry where my heart is to just be obedient to whatever the Holy Spirit asked me to do. So to yeah, false prophets are notorious for not calling out other false prophets, but I got to hand it to Troy Black on this one. I got to hand it to him a little bit here. Yeah, that's all. That's all that. That's all we got of that. So he, he does, you know, so like I ask, it's a very simple question. Is everybody telling the same lie? Today in this video, I am going to be exposing another minister. You all need to know this is not coming from a position of jealousy or comparison or envy or anything, but rather this came out of many months of prayer and hearing from the Lord. And the Holy Spirit has asked me over and over to share this. And he's given me many different confirmations. One of those being, I would. Okay, so if he were an actual prophet or a servant of God, he's been being disobedient for many months. He's been prompted or asked, which of course I don't believe he has been, but it doesn't require months and months of the Holy Spirit telling you something. It requires your Bible, Troy. All you need to discern a wolf from a sheep and a false prophet from a true person who says, Thus saith the Lord is your Bible, because when they deviate from that, they're a false prophet. I was recently in a service uh, with some other ministers who I trust, and the presence of God was so heavy in the room. And in the middle of the service, the Holy Spirit just spoke to me so clearly and said that I needed to go ahead and film this and publish it. And so I'm here being obedient. Some people are not going to like this. No, he's actually here being a person who exalts himself to that he is he is the mouthpiece and spokesperson of God. And you didn't need any special revelation to know this woman is false. You only needed your Bible. Especially those that follow this person. Yes, I will be naming the name in a few minutes, but y'all need to understand that this is not me judging this person. I'm not trying to say this person is unsaved. I don't know. Only God knows the state of a person's. So what are you doing? What are you doing, Troy? Wait a minute. Who are you? She's not to be listened to. She's not to be followed. She is to be marked and avoided. Romans sixteen seventeen, Ephesians five eleven. See, so even when he allegedly exposes, he doesn't really expose. He has to throw these softball pitches. He doesn't know. I'm not calling her false. I'm not saying she's unsaved. She doesn't bear any fruit of someone who believes in the grace of God, who has been saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. She says we're not even under the Old Testament. A few minutes, but y'all need to understand that this is not me judging this person. 
I'm not trying to say this person is unsaved. I don't know. Only God knows the state of a person's heart. I'm not trying to say that they have bad intentions. I personally don't know. You're not trying to say that a false prophet has bad intentions. Regardless of what their intentions are, there can't be any description of a false prophet other than a wolf in sheep's clothing, other than a a ravening wolf who's making merchandise of God's flock, leading people astray. A false prophet cannot, like yourself, no matter how nice and no matter how family-oriented Troy Black comes and tries to appear to be this nice Christian fellow, his intentions are just as malevolent as celestial. So this man is just as wicked as celestial. And honestly, I'm not going to go through a list of things that they've done wrong or theology but rather I'm simply going to share the word that the Holy Spirit gave me about them and their teaching. And then God gave me some verses and scripture to share that I believe are kind of the antithesis of what they teach. But the Lord wanted me, instead of focusing on the negative, he wanted me to focus on the positive of what the scripture actually says. And so this is the reason God gave me for filming this video. You know, I was praying about why, right? Why? And the Lord started showing me this is not necessarily so much for the sake of that person, but it's more for the sake of the listeners, those who are listening to her and people like her. Okay. And this is what I heard. That's exactly true. And, you know, we, we bear some hope and, and we know what God can do with God. All things are possible. All of us, uh, when we expose these individuals like Troy Black, Marcus Rogers, Isaiah Saldivar, Mike Signorelli, and Celestial, okay? We we know with God all things are possible, but with a successful false prophet who's gained followers of in the hundreds of thousands, they're making tens of thousands of dollars a month on their iniquity, it's unlikely that they will repent. But I have seen evidence in my comment sections of people who the very video they watched, that is the video that turned things around for them or confirmed to them that they needed to mark and avoid and stop watching these people. So I agree with that. It's mostly for the followers and not for that individual. The Lord say right before I started filming this video, he said, my people need to understand what I've said in my word. My people need to understand what I've said in my word. And people like this person are distorting what God has said. And that is why the Lord has asked me to address this issue. So I'm going to share a few different things that the Holy Spirit has spoken to me. One of the things I didn't necessarily write down, but one of the things I heard the Lord say was he said, Troy, I want you to warn my people, specifically talking about this person. That was on that same day in that service where I heard a very clear confirmation of the Lord wanting me to share this. The person I'm talking about is the online prophet named Celestial. At least that's the name she's given herself. I had people commenting and saying, you need to go watch this person. You need to go listen to her videos. And so I. So you heard it right there. Who's he talking about? The online prophet named Celestial. At least that's the name she's given her. Is the online prophet named Celestial. At least that's the name she's given herself. The online prophet named Celestial. At least that's the name she's given herself. Okay, so before your next cookout and barbecue, Celestial, this is Troy Black. He's calling you out also. So add him to the barbecue with the rest of us Christians that you're trying to condemn and send to hell. Just saying. I had people commenting and saying, you need to go watch this person. You need to go listen to her videos. And so I went to open up one of her videos the very first time. And I'm not kidding. In the first few seconds of opening up her video, I heard very clear and very loud from the Holy Spirit, the word witchcraft three times. I heard witchcraft and it was, I, I was hearing it over her voice to where I couldn't even hear what she was saying. Witchcraft, witchcraft, witchcraft. And then another time I set it aside. I prayed about it. I went to watch another one of her videos. This was actually in, way back on February 6th. And it so, yeah, this isn't, there isn't much faithfulness in this. What's that? Eight months ago? This is a sad report, man. This is a sad report. Even if you were going to come up with a story, you'd come up with a better story than this. This is a non-responsive false prophet here, Troy. You're a non-responsive false prophet. As soon as she started speaking, I heard the Lord say this. The Lord said, she's a witch. She isn't hearing me. That's Woo! 
I heard the Lord say this. The Lord said, she's a witch. She isn't hearing me. That's I heard the Lord say this. The Lord said, she's a witch. She isn't hearing me. That's oh, not my voice. She is hearing. She hates being called that, Troy. You're in big trouble. You're in big trouble, Troy. I'm glad. I'm glad that she, you know, Troy's got 400, almost 500,000 followers. So I'm glad that even if it's from a false prophet, I'm glad for every person who calls her out. But Troy, you're a false prophet also. Repent. And then he said, just look at the fruit of what she says. Do her words cause you to dwell on the things of man or the things of God? And then I heard, it's not my voice she is hearing. So I know this is very serious. I know this is extremely serious, and this is very different than what I typically do because I don't normally expose people like this. But this is what I've been hearing the Holy Spirit say for over six months now. And my heart is just to be obedient. And honestly, y'all, my heart. So it ta- your heart takes six months to be obedient. That's not good obedience. That's not a that's not a record of obedience, Troy. And until you repent of your prophecies, and because Troy can bring the word of God pretty good, he can bring good scriptures to bear. He can he can tell people the actual gospel, but he this is the opposite way of celestial, who's I call the prophet of death or the BTK prophet, bind, torture, kill, because in inside the the body of celestial resides the 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 spirit of a pathological psychopathic serial killer i mean it's it's not holy her spirit is not holy whatsoever but on the other hand you got a prophet a false prophet like troy black who comes off like um leave it to beaver or um you know one of these childhood uh tv star i mean he's like a he's like a dopey little nice guy you know and he he does bring the scripture which makes him just as deceptive in the opposite form because then he comes out with all these prophecies trump prophets he's a false trump prophet so he comes up with a plethora of false prophecies of his own part is that we would all come back to the truth of god's word which is a knowledge of the saving grace of jesus christ it's just knowing him and we are warned over and over in scripture jesus said there will be many false prophets paul says there's going to be many false teachers But we're also warned about getting away from sound doctrine. And there's a difference in sound doctrine between the old covenant and the new covenant. Okay, I'm not going to play too much more of what Troy's going to say. But I am going to say this, that Troy Black, on each side of the road, you have a gutter. When you go off, off the grid, off the path, off the reservation, you got a gutter, you got a you got a gutter on the left, you got a gutter on the right. So this is just, Troy Black is the left-hand gutter calling out the right-hand gutter. And um, he's the same, they're all, they're both off the same bird. You know, they, they, they say the left wing and the right wing. So you have a left wing false prophet in Troy Black who actually brings some good word along with false prophecies. He's not hearing from God any more than Celestial. And then you have the right wing, which is a person who's legalistic under the Old Testament, left the Testament of grace behind. So, Troy Black, I'd want to show this clip of what you have to expect from Celestial in the upcoming months. She is, and I will stand on what I said before, a false prophet, a liar. And I've given biblical reasoning for that, and we'll discuss that again in this video. But like most prophets who make 100 prophecies a year, go to her YouTube and you'll see, eventually they're gonna have a video that goes viral because one of them comes true. Regurgitation prophecies and information online, you're you're getting those, and then you're going back to the source that you heard it, and they're teaching you bizarre things and giving you strange, demonic, delusional, sci-fi, movie theater prophecies, and you love it. You love it. And then they say, come, let us worship other gods, gods you have not known before. Do not listen to them. The Lord your God is testing, is testing you. Stop idolizing accuracy. The text here says that the prophetic utterance and the dream comes to pass. It 
actually says it. Most of you are defending all of these false people, Celestial, and all these crazy, wonky people. Speak forth the revelation of the Lord and condemn them in my words. And you think that God will sit and tolerate this. You see God going for the jugular. He's very angry. He's very upset. He's highly offended and he means to get you back. And since God is not a tit and tat, do for do type of person, he's not. He says, I bear long with the sinner. He says, I'm married to the backslider. No one would associate himself with people who have gone so far over the line unless he was love personified so when you see him going for the jugular that means that you have done to god what ought never to be done that means he is highly offended i am prophet master apostle marcus rogers hey listen some of the people y'all call prophet and prophetess this is what they look like to me really trying to be funny y'all this is serious so she believes in aliens she believes in aliens but not only are is she believing in aliens the aliens are demonic what's wrong with you people all right this is brother rob wilson thanks for tuning in drop a comment please like subscribe and share if you care Let's reject all these false prophets and be a Berean and get in the word of God. All scripture is God breathed and useful for correction, for reproof, for rebuke, for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Second Timothy 316. We don't need prophets. God has spoken. Grace and peace in Jesus name. Amen.